Hey guys, this is Josh from uh, Tips from Rusi, and I got a, a, a question here uh, in one of my comments for my, my video on how to place your photos inside of text. Uh, basically asking, uh, we need to do this with multiple images in a single word, and how, so basically how to put two, two or more images into uh, a word. So what we're going to do, there are a couple ways we can do this. Uh, first of all, if you want to combine images in Photoshop, then you can just place it as uh, one large image uh, in the whole thing of text. So we've got three images here that I've randomly picked off of my computer. Uh, and basically what I did was I went and used my scale tool or crop tool, sorry uh, and just made everything the same size so I went with 700 width and 500 for the height and then after you got all three of these the same size then you're gonna open up a new file and you're gonna wanna do again 500 for the height but since we have three photos we're placing on here you're going to take that 700 width and you're going to multiply it by 3. So what, what I ended up was 2100 pixels. Make sure you do pixels and not inches because if it's inch, inches it's going to be huge. Uh, and then all you're going to do is you're going to go back to your pictures and go to this little dotted square box here. And you're just going to highlight your whole picture. And then hit Control C or, or whatever your uh, copy is here. So just Control C and go back here and just Control V or paste, and then line it up wherever you want it. So if you want it on the left side, that's fine. Right side, that's fine. Uh, and you're just gonna do this with all three of them. And you just line it up and whenever if you need to go to back to this photo see if you if you try to click and drag it'll it'll drag the other one you just go to your layers and find the, the layer that has your picture on it so when you get done you're gonna have it, it's gonna go all the way across I've already made one of these so I'm gonna show you now how we'll do this so I've got here just one big block of text and then, like we did with the last one, you're going to go to, oh, let me get here. <laughs> uh, so you're going to type, create outlines, okay, and so that makes it all one big box, and then file place, and you're going to go wherever you saved this, mine is... I called it Rag Radigan because it's got one of my favorite Disney villains on there, Radigan. And now you can see to fill. Uh, it'll have to be a longer <laughs> thing of text to, to get everything, but scooch it over. You can see it's got all you know parts of all three photos on there. So you just line it up however you'd want it. So obviously if you have to kind of plan ahead and, and say how many photos can I fit onto whatever I'm doing. This was, you know, done kind of spur of the moment, so uh, obviously I don't have it perfectly lined up here, but that's just something you have to you kind of figure out uh, just based on how long your text is. Uh, so then the easy easier way to do this, I think, would be take, instead of doing one big block of text would be to do four individual letters here and I've already created the outlines on each of these so then you're just gonna place again the same idea just go to place uh, and I'm just gonna use this since since I've got it on here but it's you just do the individual photos on each one of these and this uh, will actually allow you to adjust each individual photo so there I can get the, the squirrel in there just fine and 
and go to the next one. And I want to do. Oops. So we're going to do again fitting. And then just. Drag over and adjust it where you want it. Let's say I wanted basically the same as the other one, so I could do just kind of line it up with that. But again, this is this could just be this the single photo. You don't have to resize it the way we did earlier. You can just do you know whatever size it is. It'll it'll work. Uh, Fit it, drag it to where we want it. Say so this is, I think, much easier to do uh, than trying to do it as one big block. But there could be times when doing it as one big block is, is what you want to do because you know maybe you have you know four or five pictures that all kind of are blurring together somehow, and you, and you want to kind of show that in your block of text. That would be probably the best way to do it uh, well, well there's this this just shows like your individual photos let's go ahead and put the last one on there just to just to show that's basically the same same thing uh, just doing it a different way so you just double click on that till you get this little orange box that shows up and then you're just gonna click it over there you go. That's that's a lot better. There you, you're adjusting everything so it fits exactly where you need it to. So that would be my my suggestion if you're going to do it is to do it as four individual letters, and then if you need to move them, make them, you know, look a little look a little off kilter here. You can do that too. It's not going to mess up where your you know your photos are on here. Uh, that would be my suggestion. Uh, I don't know if there are any other ways you could do that as far as messing with your uh, outlines or whatever. But it seems to me like this would be a much easier way to 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 kind of do this sort of thing. So hey, thanks for watching, guys. I hope this helped you out. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe and. Uh, Check out some of my other videos. I got a lot of a lot of cool things we're doing, so uh, you might find find another project you want to work on. And hey, let me know if you have any questions about how to how to do anything like this. I, I'll uh, if I don't know it, I'll try to figure it out. So uh, thanks again, and uh, hope you have a great day.